G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be framing up the aquaponic system. I've tried a few different ways to stop the algae growth, but I've just got to bite the bullet and um, actually frame it up properly with a bit of timber posts and some palings. Uh, so I'll show you what I've got at the moment. If you look down here, I've actually got some insulation between floating floor and I've got some tape. It's just not cutting it really. You can see the algae growth on the side. Um, I'm trying to stop that happening so I'm going to build a frame around here and a little um, flip top lid for it. Uh, yeah so that's pretty much what we're doing today in a nutshell. Um, so I guess we should start measuring up and just getting to it instead of chatting all the time. So here we go. So first of all, I'm gonna measure my railings, which are just fencing railings. I'd left over from a fencing job I did. Um, and I'm just gonna mount them to the top of this rail here. I found some screws that will go through the whole lot and not poke through the other side. Uh, yeah, so basically I've just got to measure a rail to run equally along there and pock out a bit this side so I can um, frame the front of it off as well. So, here we go. Okay, so I'll measure this. I hope if you could just hold this here for me. Hold that there. This bit on my right hand side. Are you okay? I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here. Okay, so I've got my four cross beams which are going to go top, bottom, top, bottom on either side. Um, so we'll just get them nailed up. Hold that tight up into that hole. Okay, so I've got the two top rails on either side. Uh, use a bit longer screws on this one, they poke out a bit, but I can fix that up later. I'll just come along with a little saw and chop them out. Um, now we're going to get the front bit lined up here so that we can get a front cross rail going so we can nail some um, panels to it. That in, that in. One. I say one old. 110. So we're going to mark that one 2 by 110, okay? So 110. So take the lid off that. Right where that is. Good job. Now we can just chop two of those. I just want to push that bit of wood down a bit further, Hope. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Mum. Mum. We can pick you up on the camera. Oh, sorry. Is that level down there, Hope? Uh, yeah. 
they're the same size down the end. This one needs to come up. Yeah, now it is. Alright, so we've got three of those. We need four, but we can cap one from the, uh, another bit. Hold that one up on the other side for me, Coach. Yeah, hold the other One more. No one. Yep. Okay, so I've got a basic frame here um, for the off the top rail and have these ones going vertically off the horizontals. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I've nailed these first one and the end one on there just so I can attach a rail through here and just nail it on across the bottom I don't want to screw through here because I think what will happen is I'll pierce the actual IBC tub and I don't want it to leak water so we'll give that a go and see how it works out if not we'll go back to the drawing board okay so that's it all boxed in the bottom um, let's ride around now all that side Paddled in. Now I'm just going to put a little lean to on top of this so it looks a bit cleaner. And then I'll show you a finished project. Okay, so when I was at it, I just added a little door here, make it a little bit more safe so the kids aren't going to climb into it. Um, just put a couple of gate hinges I had laying around that are of no use because they're left handed, I need a right. Uh, put them both on there and yeah, just put a couple of little, little nail holes here so they can't actually get into them. There we go, that um, nice and secure, keep some of the sun out of the water. Um, in part two I'll be doing this in a few more months, a few more weeks actually. I'll um, build the top up around there in timber and see what it looks like. It should look $1.50 then. <laughs> so there we are folks, I'll just finish the video here for today. Um, and I found my rhythm again so I'll be back to filming. I got a new lens, I'll show you guys through there. Check on the socials for that, um, Instagram and Facebook. I'll put a picture up of the new lens and I've got a new microphone too, so I'm hoping to get rid of some of the air. Um, I've been having some air in the back of me video, so hopefully this, one, this mic will fix that up. Anyway, I'll leave the video here and until on the next video, I hope this guy's, this little video inspired someone to, I don't know, tack a little bit of scrap wood around there aquaponics system that's all I've done today cost of zero dollars today for this whole project so always happy with that uh, yeah so any comments or suggestions just put them down down in the description box down below I mean sorry the comment section below and I'll it's been a long day and I'll get back to you where I can thank you